What's in the news today is that sugar and salt should be taxed and vegetables prescribed by the NHS. An independent review of the food we eat has suggested. The report led by businessman Henry Dimbledy says taxes, uh, taxes raised could extend free school meals, provisions and support better diets among the poorest. Um, the Prime Minister, however, says he is not attracted to the proposals. I mean... Where does he get off? We need these proposals. The fact that Henry Dimbledy was saying that, that you could have... I mean, I just, I just don't understand it. That you could have um, free... The, the doctors could be prescribing um, fruit and veg. That you could have cookery lessons. You can have people that are taking people round supermarkets to show them how to shop and how to cook well. How can, how can he be not attracted to that, well, Esther? Well, you're talking about taxing people. So if you look at the poorest people, so if you look at the... F fifth poorest pay far more for their food than the fifth richest. And you've got to say, is taxing putting, making sure that the grocery bill for the poorest in society is more expensive? To me, that cannot be the right way forward. And it's all right if a, an old Etonian, Dimbleby, who, you know, well connected with a few bob, is telling people who are on the least income what they can do. Now, I do believe in education and maybe, you know, cookery classes in school and different ways of doing it. But do I believe that we tax the poorest? No. Absolutely, Excellent. I don't. And by the way, they introduced this in Denmark in 2011. And they stopped it in 2013 because it was not uh, working. I, I always love it when people say, we don't want to tax the poor because we care about the health, but it's actually the poor who are dying most from uh, conditions associated with obesity. It is, some people are saying that obesity now is a bigger problem than smoking. But it is. And we took a decision, and I was public health minister at the time, to say actually we wanted to stop that passive intake of smoke. And that's why we banned it in closed public spaces. And it's had an impact. Look, let's look at what's true here. A couple of years well, ago... What I said was true. It's a different opinion. It's no, not what I, just, I said wasn't I true. It's it different opinions. It shouldn't be the opinions. government that's getting taxed. The it should be the manufacturers yeah, so that are getting taxed. The, the recipes, the formulas and that they use. So, that. so they put the tax on and they force the manufacturers to reformulate. That's exactly what they did on fizzy drinks. And we've seen a decrease in sugar in those mm -hmm. drinks enormously. And the thing is, in processed food, it's all the hidden elements of sugar yeah. and salt that people don't know about. So let's get the companies to reformulate. And meanwhile, and they for are. those people who cannot afford to buy fresh fruit and vegetables, let's find another way to get the fresh fruit and vegetables to them and support them to help their and families that's to be why, healthier. And that's why education is a, a, the best way forward. Uh, because there's, uh, look, you must have seen, and I have, fruit bowls with, with you can give somebody We've something to that. eat, We've but if you that, don't want to eat it. We've the for that one. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Caroline. Um, <laughs> but what we're saying is this isn't the way forward to make the poorest pay more for their it, food. You know, Caroline, uh, sorry, Esther, I really do agree with you, but I do think that should, the government should get involved and it should be the manufacturers that are being taxed yeah, but and then not allowed to put they... the prices up and because so they have reformulated. Well, you some, don't. Some, like San Pellegrino, for example, the Italian uh, uh, drinks... They, they've taken their sugar, their fruit, uh, watered uh, sugary fruit, and, water, they, yes, right, the and they brought it right down to yeah. zero. So that's the type of thing yeah, that we need. No, we need I to meant reduce. that if you, if you could put so a cost onto a company, of course it will transfer that cost onto the people who are buying. That, that's and, where the government guidelines And by the government's own uh, assessment, this will be, if this is about obesity strategies, this is about making people eat differently, it will change the calorie yeah. intake by 30 a day. That is half a digestive biscuits yeah, so it's not about tax implications a year extra you it, can it, remove half of that so it's not about taxing it is about a form of education and oh, working with it, people i think it's both i think you know again this is something that we're going to have to come back to because you know in britain we have got an obesity issue in britain we've had for many years so it's something that would we'll definitely come back to. and that's Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.